Chapter 71 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Vesper Chin Posey saw her young miss frown and told her the rumors circulating in the village. Hearing this, Ning Meng Yao was not angry. Their mouths grow on them, so it is up to them to say what they want to say. Ning Meng Yao did not care about it. But young miss, this relates to your reputation. Being said like this, how could young miss marry? Those people were too much. Don't let her know who spread the word out. I know. But truly liking a person, is reputation important. Moreover, I have no plans on marrying soon. Ning Meng Yao shrugged her shoulders and indifferently spoke. Qin Posey heard her young miss words and could not do anything, only nodded in helplessness. I know. But we cannot let those people go. It's fine, Popo. Let's forget this matter. This is, after all, a village. The villagers are like this. Don't worry, there will come the time they beg me. Ning Meng Yao's gaze turned cold. Did they think that she will let this go? Of course not. Since she planned on building a workshop here, then she would need many people. Those people who fussed the most, she wanted to see what would happen in the future. Qin Popo looked at Ning Meng Yao in suspicion, not understanding what she meant. Yet Qin Shui understood. Young Miss wants to build a workshop here and building workshop needs not little people. When the time comes, there will be people helping here. Being told so by Wing Shui, Qin Posey understood. She had went to and saw that the villagers were like that, not rich. Young Miss intending to build workshop would need laborers. Although this seemed shameless and not virtuous, but countering such person would need the same kind of methods. Dot Ning Meng Yao tapped her finger against the table. Since she wanted, then she would open up a wine workshop. The upper mountain will be used for planting trees. Ning Meng Yao suddenly said. Why? They all stared at Ning Meng Yao in doubt. She had not considered these before because she had her own worries. But now that Juan Quan and the rest had came, which meant that all the others also knew that she was here, then she could make it big. When that time comes, even if Ling Luo knew she was here, so what? Her foundation would already be strong. Him searching her won't be a big trouble. Brew wine. Young miss, we can make wine out of fruits. Yes. Not only fruits, but also flower petals. Peach blossom wine and apricot wine were two of her favorite wines. Very delicious. All right. When spring comes, we will buy fruit trees to plant. Jiang Quan smacked his hand and decided. And so, the things they discussed went from the rumors to planting trees to brew wine. When Qin Posey went to the kitchen, Qin Shuang spoke to Ning Meng Yao with a cold voice. Young miss, we should let Qin Xian gather with us. Although her martial arts was not weak, but it could not compare to Qin Xian's. Ning Meng Yao shook her head. In the meantime, we don't need to do this. But. All right, this way is fine. Ning Meng Yao cut off Qin Shuang's words and furrowed her brow. Seeing her like this, Qin Shuang and the others knew that she did not want to continue discussing this matter. The rumors outside became ardent without Ning Meng Yao's explanation, although half of the villagers did not fuss along. They knew what kind of person she was. If she really was as cruel and malicious as the rumors portrayed her to be, why would she rent out land with cheap price? The rumors could only come from those who envied her. Moreover, she wanted to build a workshop which meant there would be a demand for workers. Those envious people would only cut off their path. Just hoped that those people would not cry in the end. There could be many things happening in a month, but for the villagers of White Mountain Village, they felt bliss because Ning Meng Yao demanded workers for her workshop, searching the mountain, and cutting off the forest that was hindering. A day got 60 to 71. A month got 1 to 2 silvers. This was a great news. While to the other half people, they were filled with remorse. 
They were the ones who spread out the rumors ardently and had no face to took up the job. Chapter 72 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Vesper even if they're shameless enough to work there, they would only work for W few days. Although Ning Meng Yao did not say anything and did not went harsh on them, but the people working with them could not help but ask, weren't you disgusted with her and talked about her so badly? How could you run here to work for her? Those words made not little people's face became hot. Actually, they weren't the ones who spoke, those were their wives who spoke. But who would have the face to continue working? After Chin Posey knew about this matter, she coldly snorted and smiled in dissatisfaction. Indeed young Miss Ways were the best. See them now, didn't those people leave with a face full of shame? Qin Shuang glanced at the villagers leaving with shame face and coldly smiled, then continued to do her own thing. A. Dare dare dot c dot a e dare dare i one fourth dare superscript three a yeni copyright a n superscript one a a with diuresis dare pound a degree a degree dare 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 dot c dot a e dare dot a superscript one dot a e c dot c dot a e a. This one month had been enough for them to grasp what kind of life young Miss had been living in here. Thinking about how young Miss was bullied by the villagers here, they were unhappy. If it weren't because young Miss had told them not to create problem, they would have given them trouble. The land on the mountain was almost done and the wine workshop had produced some products. In half a month, Xiao Tian Chang's friend had came over once. From two pounds of wine jars, he had bought them fifteen yang each. This was not bad of a price. Aside from salary and raw materials, she could sell twelve to thirteen yang a jar. From that time they bought 300 jars, and after dividing the profit with Xiao Tian Chang, she earned 200 liang. Although this amount of money was nothing much, but to normal people, this was considered as good. She was also satisfied. Things would be better slowly. Young miss, it is going to be New Year soon. Should we prepare New Year merchandise? Qin Popo thought this through. There was still a month time for New Year to arrive. They should prepare New Year merchandise since the workers also needed to be given. Ning Mengyao nodded. All right. You and Uncle Jiang prepare this while our New Year merchandise will be bought by me, Qing Shuang and the others at the town. Okay. But young miss, do we need to buy a horse cart? Jiang Quan frowned. When they were not here, they could not do anything about it but since they were here, then they would not let their young miss be in the same cow cart as those poses. Let's buy one. Ning Meng Yao felt that they did need to buy a horse cart. Young miss, how about we let someone bring over the cart? Ning Meng Yao looked at Qin Shuang and the rest in helplessness. She realized that they all agreed with Qin Shuang's suggestion. Fine. But buy the ordinary one. Her cart was too extravagant, not suited to use in the village. Be no calm, no problem, just leave it to us. Ning Meng Yao was also lazy to deal with the rest but when she saw them hurrying with the cart, she looked at Qing Shuang speechlessly. Can you take a more mundane one? They only had changed the exterior of the cart of hers, letting people's first impression of it was simplicity but the interior was very big, enough to fill the seats of eight to nine people. There was even a soft couch inside and a cabinet beside, along with all kinds of snacks, also a long but short table with Chinese chess on it and a few books below the table. This was simply a small-sized resting room. Looking at them with slight headache, Ning Meng Yao opened her mouth. You guys are really. Qing Shuang laughed jovially and did not answer Ning Meng Yao's words. And how did that brat Qing Xian came here? Ning Meng Yao looked at the handsome brother in front of her in depression and did not know whether to laugh or cry. Qing Xian answered righteously. I came her using a cart. Ning Meng Yao silently gazed at Qing Xian and gave in. Her heart was depressed. Why was it that she was more like a spoiled maiden rather than master in front of these people? Fine, if you're here then you're here. Don't do this again next time. Ning Meng Yao had a headache. Yes, young miss. 
Qin Shuang looked at Qin Xian in smugness. Didn't she say that once Qin Xian arrived, the young miss could not kick him out? See, she's right. Ning Menyao had seen the movement of the two but she pretended not to see it. Chapter 73 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Vesper nearing New Year, not knowing why, Chiao Tian Chang's friend wanted many wines, causing the people in the workshop to work non-stop every day. Two days before New Year, Ning Mengyao carried three people including Qin Shuang with Qin Xian as the driver. They went to the town after handing the things at home to Jiang Quan and Qin Pozi. After arriving at the town, Qin Zhu who had a lively personality rushed out and kept chattering non-stop. After young miss settled here, we have not visited the town. She said as she looked everywhere. It was nothing special, more bustling than the village but there was nothing else to look at. When they were shopping, they heard the townsfolk said that on New Year, there would be a lantern festival, making Qin Zhu's pair of eyes to glitter at Ning Menyao, hoping that she could see it during New Year. All right, if we have nothing to do on New Year then we will go here. Yay! Young Miss is the best. Qin Zhu stared at Ning Menyao in worship, causing Ning Menyao's face to blacken. Why were Qin Shuang and Qin Shui so mature while Qin Zhu seemed more like a child? Ning Menyao did not understand this. In the town, they bought some snacks and meat that was cut to the same size. Aside from that, they also bought fishes. Young Miss, are you planning on doing the same here? Giving out that much money on New Year? Qing Shui suddenly asked. Ning Mengyao had planned to buy cloth but hearing Qing Shui's question, she halted her step. What is it? Young miss, I think this is not necessary. Qing Shuang thought of this and nodded. It's already not bad having pastry, meat, and fish. Too much will make them grow greedy. Ning Mengyao stared blankly and thought it over. What they said seemed reasonable so she nodded. Then give only those. But let's still buy cloth to make into clothes back home. All right. When the time comes, then we'll do it. Qing Zhu seized this activity. Ning Mengyao bought four rolls of high dot quality cloud brocade, but Qing Zhu was still not satisfied, feeling that they bought too little. There is nothing else to be bought. Let's return. Ning Mengyao recalled the things they bought and decided that those were enough then told them so. Yes, young miss. The group marched back until night. The next day, when the workers came, Ning Mengyao announced that the shift would end earlier. The sun had just risen from the west when Ning Mengyao called out the workers to give them wages. Qin Popo gave out the wage while Qin Zhu and the rest gave out New Year gifts. These are gifts for you guys. Tomorrow is lunar year so it's holiday. After Yuan Shao, 15th night of first lunar month, you guys can come back. The workers saw that not only Ning Mengyao gave them wages, she also gave them fish and meat, also 500 tips, their eyes shone. These New Year gift was too great. They did not need to buy anything on New Year. Thank you, Mengyao. It's fine. Ning Mengyao shook her head. After the crowd left, Ning Mengyao heaved a sigh of relief. It was the lunar year the next morning. Ning Mengyao planned on cooking but was stopped by Qin Popo, saying that she won't let Ning Mengyao cook and if Ning Mengyao wanted to cook, it should be on New Year, not now. Towards Qin Popo's resolution, Ning Mengyao was helpless and could only stand aside to instruct then eat. When the lunar year passed, spring was coming a few days after. The smell inside the village became much thicker. On the third day of New Year, Yang Lulu went to Ning Mengyao. Yao Yao, how about we go to the town together? There was nothing to do at home after all. Ning Mengyao felt that this was true and agreed. Qin Popo did not stop this and let Ning Mengyao go with Yang Lulu. After they left, Jiang Quan looked at Qin Popo weirdly. How come you did not stop young miss today? Qin Popo glared at Jiang Quan in irritation. 
was she that kind of person? She knew that young Miss thought of that girl as a good friend. She was also here for one to two months so she knew what kind of person Yang Lulu was. Knowing this, she could assuredly let Ming Meng Yao go with Yang Lulu. Chapter 74 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Vesper after Yang Lulu pulled Ning Meng Yao to the entrance of the village, she patted her chest. I thought that Qin Popo would not let you go with me. How can that be? Ning Meng Yao shook her head helplessly. It seemed that Yang Lulu understood the people around her quite well. What do you want you buy today? Yang Lulu asked Ning Meng Yao in curiosity. Ning Meng Yao tilted her head. Seemed like she did not want to buy anything today. I don't know. Let's just look around first. All right. We'll go together. I am planning to buy jewelries for me and my sister. In law, buy my nephew some ink and brush, buy my parents two new clothes. Yang Lulu spoke out what she wanted to do. In the recent two months, she earned few tens of liang from Aunt Luo. She gave a part to her family and there were still many, so she wanted to dress herself up. All right. Show them to me later. Okay. The sight of the two girls speaking and laughing fell on the eyes of Yang Xiu Er and Madame Luo who were also at the town, feeling that it was an annoying sight. Madame Luo had been let out before New Year. Once she was out, her robust body slimmed greatly. It was obvious that she had eaten bitter pain in the prison. When Ning Meng Yao neared them, Madame Luo used a queer tone. Yo, isn't this our village's oldest young miss? How can she use the same cow cart with us? Sweeping her gaze across Madame Luo, Ning Meng Yao did not say anything, only speaking to Yang Lulu with a small voice. When the people had gathered, the cart then head to the town. Madame Luo wanted to find trouble for Ning Meng Yao but who knew that Ning Meng Yao would ignore her? This was the greatest humiliation to her and her face became very ugly. Glaring heatedly at Ning Meng Yao, she wanted to speak when Ning Meng Yao did it first. If you still want your pair of eyes, then move. Although glaring won't do anything to her, but Ning Meng Yao did not like Madame Luo using this kind of gaze to look at her. That kind of gaze made her felt disgusted. You. Do you really think yourself as an eldest young miss? Truly shameless, not seeing what kind of person you are. Madame Luo ridiculed. That's right. Not seeing what kind of person you are. A little thief, too dirty for me to handle myself. Ning Meng Yao refuted. There were quite the amount of housewives in the cart working for Ning Meng Yao or their husband did and earned not little money so they decided to buy jewelry and others. Hearing Madame Luo's words, they could not help but furrowed their brows. Can you speak less? She also did not provoke you. That's right. One by one they joined in to speak against Madame Luo, making her almost rushing over to have a catfight. Madame Luo coldly snorted and looked at the people in the cart with irony. All of you are another's dog now, of course you would help her speak. Once these word got out, the people became unhappy and roared. Madame Luo, don't throw face when we're giving you. So what if we used our own strength to earn money? Dog. Even if you want to be other's dog, the other won't be willing to take you in, you guys. You guys. Madame Luo was angered until she pointed a trembling finger toward them, but did not say even a sentence. Ning Meng Yao stared at Madame Luo in irony and faintly spoke. There is no need to speak with this kind of person. If a dog bites you, you wouldn't bite that dog back, right? Are you not afraid of biting out fur? Yes, Meng Yao is right. She is envious. Yeah. How can we humans degrade ourselves to quarrel with an animal? Yang Xiu Er looked at Ning Meng Yao in dissatisfaction. Ning Meng Yao, what do you mean? Do you think that because you have a bit of money then you're incredible? Ning Meng Yao swept her gaze across Yang Xiu Er and leisurely opened her mouth. I have money so I am incredible. Because I earn the money using my own capability. 
If you have what it takes then fo earn money, ah. That's right. The phrase if the upper beam is not straight, the lower ones will go aslant means like this. Yang Xiu Er, what is this very sour smell I smell? White-eyed wolf should be someone like you, right? Now you're saying others. If I were you, I would stay at home and not go out. Yang Lulu disliked Yang Xiu Er who was like someone owed her many silvers. So she was annoyed just looking. Chapter 75 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Translator. Vesper with a noisy atmosphere, they arrived at the town. Ning Meng Yao and Yang Lulu went down the cart together. They did not even spare Madame Luo mother and daughter pair a glance and went away while holding hands. The two of them went to Aunt Luo first and Yang Lulu bought two clothes and left. Yao Yao, what do you think of this? In the jewelry store, Yang Lulu took a silver hairpin and asked Ning Meng Yao. Ning Meng Yao stared at it and lightly shook her head. That silver hairpin was not bad, but it was too mature. At last, Ning Meng Yao helped Yang Lulu choose two hairpins where were both silver, but the style was better than the one before. Seeing the two silver hairpins in her hand, Yang Lulu was satisfied and chose another hairpin for her sister. In law. The three hairpins were six silvers in total, almost making Yang Lulu broken hearted. What are you doing? After leaving the jewelry store, Yang Luli's expression was very conflicted, as if she had eaten a huge loss. How about I return it to the store? Yang Lulu said carefully. Ning Meng Yao's head was filled with black lines as she looked at Yang Lulu. This girl was playing with her, wasn't she? It's only six silvers. After New Year, you go to Aunt Luo to sell your embroidery, won't your money be back? Was six silvers worth it? Yang Lulu tilted her head to think and agreed about this, so she was no longer heart-ached. She put a hairpin on her hair and another on Ning Meng Yao's head. Why are you giving me? Why not? You've helped me a lot of times, so I bought you hairpin as a gift. I know that you're not lacking, but... She knew that this kind of hairpin Ning Meng Yao won't covet, so she was a bit disappointed. I also did not say I do not want it. All right, don't be like this. Ning Meng Yao knocked Yang Luli's head and spoke helplessly. Only then did Yang Lulu became happy, smiling and talking with Ning Meng Yao as they walked to another place. On New Year, I want to go to the town to see flower lanterns. Do you want to go? Ning Meng Yao suddenly remembered Qing Zhu's matter and asked Yang Lulu who was right beside her. Yang Lulu thought it over and nodded in agreement. Okay. Though I've grown this big, I've never seen it. I also want to see it. Okay, I will call you then. Okay. When it was time to go, Ning Meng Yao and Yang Lulu took not little things to the town, where quite a number of people had arrived. A. Yang Xiu Er obviously saw the things in their hands but what she was more envious about was the newly bought hairpins in their hair. Based on what were their lives better than hers. Seeing their laughing while speaking forms made Yang Xiu Er wanted to tear them to pieces. But she did not dare to do so. She was afraid that when the time comes, she would get Ning Meng Yao's retribution. In the cow cart, the familiar people spoke of the things they bought and some also asked Yang Lulu and Ning Meng Yao. Most of them bought cloth and some New Year stuff. Going back to the village, Ning Meng Yao was prepared to leave with her things but they were kicked by Yang Xiu Er to the ground. Seeing the scattered goods, Ning Meng Yao furrowed her brows. Not only her, the people in the cart also did as they stared at Yang Xiu Er in discontent. I say, Xiu Air girl, you kicked other people's things to the ground, shouldn't you ask for forgiveness? What kind of upbringing do you have? That's right. She deserve it. Why apologize? Madame Luo coldly snorted and shouted. Seeing Madame Luo like this, the crowd frowned. Madame Luo becoming like this was simply unreasonable. Knowing that the thing on the ground was not dirty, Ning Meng Yao took them and left without saying anything. 
Ning Mengyao like this made the attitude of the people to the pair of mother and daughter became worse. Madam Luo, it's not that I am saying you, but your house as Yang Xiu heir is at the age of discussing marriage, right? Are you not afraid of not being able to find an in dot law like this? With this kind of personality, who would dare to want? Afraid that marrying her back would make the house chaotic. That's right. Yang Xiu heir, do you think that behaving like this can make you get Yao Yao's attention? How foolish, Yang Lula smiled in irony. This person was too shameless, actually doing such a thing, truly making a fool of herself. Chapter 76 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Translator. Vesper glaring at Yang Lu Li's leaving back, Yang Xiu Air er roared. Yang Lu Lu, based on what are you saying me like that? Everything that you have today should be mine. If not for Yang Lu Li's meddling, then what Yang Lu Lu had today should be hers, not like right now. Seeing Yang Xiu Air er not repenting, but becoming more arrogant, she shook her head. What should be done with such a child? The people left one by one, but the things that happened had traveled through the whole village. The reputation of the two of them which was not that good became even worse. But this had nothing to do with Ning Menyao. When Qing Shui and the rest saw that their young miss returned with a gloomy expression, they became unhappy. How could young miss go out for a while and got angered? What happened to young miss? Nothing just met some irrelevant people. Since they are irrelevant, then why does young miss still get angry? Qin Zhu blinked at Ning Mengyao. Ning Mengyao was stunned before laughing. I'm the one who thought it wrong. I really should not get angry. This matter had been thrown to the back of her mind quickly. The next day, Ning Mengyao went to Yang Zhu's house to deliver New Year gifts and she also sent some to Chiao Tian Chang. But when she did, Yang Chui saw this. Yang Chui's ugly expression made Ning Mengyao felt a kind of helplessness. How come trouble followed where she walked? Xiao Tian Chang noticed that Yang Chui had been staring at them and his eyes showed disgust. Don't mind her. Yes, I know. I will go first, but, all right. Be careful on the way back. It had been snowing the past few days and the roads were slippery. Xiao Tian Chang was worried that she might fell down. I know. You should go back, it's really cold. Ning Mengyao waved her hands to Xiao Tian Chang before turning to leave. Taking Ning Mengyao's New Year gift, Xiao Tian Chang gazed at her leaving back. When he knew that that person's figure had left, he turned and prepared to go back. But Yang Chui was mad with jealousy. Big brother Chiao, I don't get why you are so good towards that SL asterisk T. Chiao Tian Chang's originally good mood disappeared because of Yang Chui's words. He coldly stared at Yang Chui. If I hear you insult her again, do you believe that I will cut off your tongue? He disliked women like Yang Chui, sticking till death. Truly annoyed the heck out of him. He did not go up the mountain recently and this woman took this opportunity to come over every day, making him absolutely annoyed. At last, he holed up in his house and not go out to hide from this person. Yang Chui fisted her hands and looked at Xiao Tian Chang taking the things with him and left, expression ugly. Xiao Tian Chang, I will make you regret. This man was hers. No one could steal him away. Whoever steal him, she would take that person's life. When there was no Ning Mengyao, Xiao Tian Chang was good toward her. In her heart, it was because of Ning Mengyao's appearance that made Xiao Tian Chang became like that. How could this not make her angry? Xiao Tian Chang heard Yang Chui's words and his steps halted. His cold stony face suddenly showed a smile, but that smile made one's hair stand. Yang Chui, I tell you, if you dare to move against Ning Mengyao, I will let your whole family suffer. The words I said, I will do. If you don't believe me, you can try. That moment, Yang Chui felt that her blood was frozen cold. She always thought that while Chiao Tian Chang did not have good expression, but he still held some feelings to her, 
but she then understood that it had all been her imagination. That moment, she just knew that all of that had been her only. Xiao Tian Chang, you won't dare to do that to me. Xiao Tian Chang smiled in irony. Whether I dare or not, won't you know if you try? Until Xiao Tian Chang closed the door, Yang Chui had not regained her senses. It was only when Madame Chen called her did she snapped conscious but her body had been cold. Xiao Tian Chang sat on the stool, his hand knocking on the table. He felt that he should not continue to stay here. Being harassed every day was not the way. He wanted to build a room, but it was cold and snowy, it would be quite hard. It was better to wait for New Year. Thinking like this, Xiao Tian Chang opened the things Ning Meng Yao sent him. There was fish meat, other meat, and not little of the homemade dishes she made. Chapter 77 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Vesper as he took a snack and put it in his mouth, he thought of what to give Ning Meng Yao back as he chew. It could not be too much or too light. Envy that this made Xiao Tian Chang felt helpless, not knowing what to give. It seemed that the girl had everything. Finally, Xiao Tian Chang decided to go up the mountain to see whether or not he could find a fox. If he could, then he would make two pieces of fox fur. He thought as he ate the snacks. He then kept it well and took his bow and arrows to go up the mountain to see around. After Xiao Tian Chang left, Yang Chui stealthily climbed the wall. The things on the edges of the wall made her afraid, so after staring for so long, she could only climb to the upper part of the door and jump from there. When she was on the door, she was seen the by people of the village. Chui girl, what are you doing? The owner locked the door, you know. Being called out made Yang Chui's hand slipped and fell down to the ground. Yang Chui slipped on the ground and depressedly looked at the people in front. Why did you call me? I say, why are you climbing the wall? And another person's wall at that. What does it have to do with you? Dog seizing mouse, caring too much of others' business. When that person heard Yang Chui's words, she was angered until she laughed. It indeed has nothing to do with me, I should not call you, letting you to slip into others' house just like that. When the person comes home, I would report you breaking into private property and let you be imprisoned. The villager had good intention by calling her, who knew that she would receive such blame. Yang Chui's face became green then white, her hate-filled eyes glared at the people in front before standing up and pat her but then left. Seeing Yang Chui leaving, the passerby let out a poo and left muttering in small voice. Yang Chui went back to her courtyard in depressed state. Seeing the stare that was still there, her eyes carried dissatisfaction. If it weren't for those people, she would have been inside already and not sitting there. She had wanted to come in and see what New Year gift Ning Meng Yao that SL Asterisk T gave to Chiao Tian Chang, making him that happy. She also gave Chiao Tian Chang New Year gift but who knew that she was rejected, saying that he had done nothing to deserve it. All right. With her, it was doing nothing to deserve reward, but with Ning Meng Yao, he accepted everything. What was with this difference in attitude? Because of this, Yang Chui held deep resentment toward Ning Meng Yao, but she also did not think what had she given to him. They were shoes and clothes. Which girl would give other male clothes and shoes? If people were to know this, they would be backbitten. Xiao Tian Chang who was on the mountain did not know any of this. He did not find the fox but found not little pure white rabbit. If being made into cloth, it would look great. As he prepared to leave, a flash of red ran over, making Xiao Tian Chang's eyes lit up. Was this not what he searched for? Following that red shadow, he spent a lot of energy before he could capture that red flash. Seeing the fox losing its breath, Xiao Tian Chang's eyes were filled with laughter. He had finally caught it. Carrying his praise, he was stopped when he arrived near his door. I say, big nephew, you should lock your door tight. N. Had something happened? Xiao Tian Chang looked at them strangely and asked. 
that person glossed at Yang Chui's house and secretively said. Yang Chui that girl wanted to climb the wall to enter your house when you're gone. I called her and she was shocked. You better be careful. After saying this, that person left. Chiao Tian Chang's happy mood that came from him catching a fox disappeared after hearing this, his face became dark and ugly. What was the meaning of that? She ran to his house secretively again. Seeing his house that was separated with only a wall with Yang Chui's house, he decided that after New Year, he would buy land to build a house. He opened the door and went in his house. But when he went in, Xiao Tian Chang's face became dark and gloomy. Why? Because Yang Chui once again sat in his house, her hand taking the snacks Ning Meng Yao gave him and ate them non stop. Placing his gaze on the hands that were taking the snacks, Xiao Tian Chang had an urge to break those hands. Yang Chui's hands stopped, not thinking that Xiao Tian Chang would be back so quick. Awkwardly standing and looking at the snack in her hand, she immediately threw it away, wiping her hands and embarrassedly called out. Big Brother Chiao Chapter 78 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Vesper Chiao Tian Chang had never been this irritable before. How shameless was this woman. She actually trespassed time and time again. Not only that, what was that attitude of hers that made it seem that she was the owner of the house? Who was she doing this for? Seeing Chiao Tian Chang's face becoming darker and darker, Yang Chui knew that this was bad. Stammering as she walked to Chiao Tian Chang's side, she spoke in a small voice. Big brother Chiao, how are you? Don't be mad, okay? Chiao Tian Chang deeply inhaled. He took her by the collar and threw her out. There were also people outside and when they saw Yang Chui being thrown by Chiao Tian Chang, they became curious. Chiao boy, what happened? His face was scarily ugly. Chiao Tian Chang did not reply that person. He only used cold and bloodthirsty gaze to see Yang Chui. Yang Chui, this is the last time I warned you. If you secretly enter my house again, then don't blame me for not being kind. If you give me trouble, then I can do anything in retaliation. If you don't believe me, you can go ahead and try. These words made Yang Chui's facial expression changed. She looked at Xiao Tian Chang in a fluster and stammered. Big brother Xiao, what are you saying? I don't understand. You don't understand. Then I will say it to you in detail. When you climb the wall and enter my house when I was not present before, I will not say anything. Now it is New Year and you give me trouble. Not only did you climb the wall and enter, you also touched my things. My house is not your house. Get this straight. Moreover, you are a girl, don't be so shameless. Xiao Tian Chang's words made the crowd face each other. How angry was he to say out those serious words? But seeing Yang Chui's pale white face, they knew that most of his words were true. If not, why would he spoke about her and not others? How can it be? Chui girl, you entered others' house again. Did I not reminded you before? The person who saw Yang Chui climbing the wall before stared at Yang Chui in disbelief. Once these words were spoken, the people were curious about what happened. After they heard the explanation, their gazes toward Yang Chui became filled with disdain. Chui girl, although you have a scholar as a brother, you still cannot trespass into private property. If Chiao Boy wants to deal with this thoroughly, you would have to go in prison. That's right. Chui girl, you've grown to the time when girls are discussing marriage, you should carry yourself better. The villagers' continuous comments made Yang Chui's face turn very ugly, but she could not find something to refute with. Yang Chui's heart squeezed as she gazed at Xiao Tian Chang, saying with a wrong tone. Big brother Xiao, I know I'm wrong. I really like you, I just want to get married to you. Xiao Tian Chang stared at Yang Chui with irony. Very sorry, I do not like you. I also do not want to marry a shameless woman like you. 
After saying this, he closed the door and headed toward Yang Zhu's house. If this continued, he would really become mad. Yang Chui thought that when she told him she wanted to get married to him, he would immediately agree. Who knew that not only did he reject her, he also belittled her like that. She believed that from today on, she would be a shameless woman in the eyes of others. Yang Chui could not stand the crowds pointing and covered her face as she ran back. If she knew things would be that way, she should not have done it. Now, she was like someone who wanted to steal a chicken using rice but ended up losing the rice used to lure it. When Xiao Tian Chang asked Yang Zhu, he discovered that the lands on the base of the mountain were all bought by Ning Menyao. If he wanted to buy, he needed to buy it from Ning Menyao. Dot this made Xiao Tian Chang a bit unexpected. But after thinking about it, he did not care. That land was powerless and now she opened a workshop, seeming not small, buying the sols were expected. Thank you, village chief. I will go ask her. Then go. When Xiao Tian Chang arrived, Ning Menyao was planning the land at the back of the mountain and the lands around that she bought not long ago. Big brother Xiao, what brings you here? Ning Menyao looked at Xiao Tian Chang in doubt. I want to buy some land from you, not much, just one to two miao. Xiao Tian Chang did not beat around the bush and went straight to what he came for. Chapter 79 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Vesper Ning Menyao looked at Xiao Tian Chang stunned. The lands here were the ones which produced little food. Why would he want to buy it? Why? If you want, I can give you some irrigation land. Ning Menyao frowned. But Xiao Tian Chang shook his head. No need. I am not buying the land for crop. Besides, I can't plant vegetables. Then why are you buying the land? Ning Menyao could not understand what Xiao Tian Chang was trying to do and looked at him in doubt, her eyes carried confusion. I am planning to buy one to two mini land at the foot of the mountain to build a house. Xiao Tian Chang helplessly said. Xiao Tian Chang's words made Ning Menyao's expression became even weirder. She gazed at him strangely. Don't you already have a house? Why are you planning to build another one? Xiao Tian Chang coldly smiled and spoke in satire. There is a woman who would climb the wall and slip into my house time and time again, I am not brave enough to live there anymore. Ning Menyao recalled for a moment and knew what he was talking about. She nodded her head. Okay, why kind of place do you want? How about the one not far from your house? Xiao Tian Chang said directly. Ning Menyao thought it over and felt that there was nothing wrong. All right, you go and find Uncle Yang to help you manage the documents. Okay. Done solving this matter, Xiao Tian Chang spoke a few words with Ning Menyao then left. Qin Xian looked at Xiao Tian Chang's leaving back thoughtfully. Not knowing why, he thought that that man's back to be familiar. Young miss, what did he meant? Qin Zhu blinked and curiously asked. Knocking her fingers against Qin Zhu, Ning Menyao gave a silhouette of a smile. If you are curious, why not ask? Want me to help you ask him? Young miss, you clearly know what he meant. Qin Zhu looked at Ning Menyao aggrieved. Fine. He lives in the village and there was a girl who likes him. But the girl does not care about etiquette of society so she often climbs the wall and slip into his house when he's out. It seemed that Xiao Tian Chang was angered by Yang Chui. If not, he would not directly buy another land and planning on building a house. Not only Qin Zhu, even Qin Popo was scandalized. That can't be, BDNV, why not? When I first came here, I've met her, but she does not care. She has a scholar as a brother, after all. Ning Mengyao's eyes were filled with ridicule when she said Yan Chui had a scholar brother. Qin Posi frowned and strictly said. Young miss, you should get away from someone like her. I have a grudge with her. Ning Mengyao coldly spoke. 
Once Chin Posey heard this, she became satisfied. What if that kind of person gave bad influence to the young miss? This matter was only an interlude for Ning Meng Yao and the others. But Yang Chui's reputation which originally was bad became worse, especially after knowing that Xiao Tian Chang actually bought land to build a house. This was simple slapping Yang Chui's face soundly. When Yang Cut heard of this news, her expression became ugly. In her heart, she had a scholar brother and favoring Xiao Tian Chang was looking good at him. But now it became like this, she was disliked by him and the woman matchmaker who often came by her house stopped visiting. She knew that this was caused by making a ruckus with Ning Menyao. Her eyes filled with hate, Yang Chui fixedly stared at the neighboring house. If it weren't because of Ning Menyao's arrival, how could Xiao Tian Chang dislike her? The more she thought, the more her heart hated. She would not let this matter go just like that. She must make Ning Meng Yao pay the price. Ning Meng Yao who was hated by Yang Chui knew nothing of this. Instead, she spent the day leisurely. Just making delicious dishes then all was fine. During New Year, the parents of the children who came to her to study also brought gifts. She wanted to refuse at first, but they were persistent in giving her. Did she not want to take it or cannot take it? Finally, Ning Meng Yao could only gave out the snacks she made for them to take back home. Chapter 80 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Vesper in the blink of an eye, New Year had arrived. By the time Ning Meng Yao woke up, Qin Posey had started preparing breakfast. Ning Meng Yao saw that Qin Posey was busy and said in a helpless tone, Popo, you don't need to be so worried. It's nothing. Aren't I fine? Qin Posey shook her head and nonchalantly answered. While Qin Zhu who was beside them was looking at her young miss's dress. Her eyes lit up, young miss looks really good wearing this clothes. Ning Meng Yao was wearing a body full of white with coat embroidered with flowers. The collar and sleeves were covered in balls of white fur. Those were made from the rabbits Chao Tian Chang gave, while the fox he sent was made into cape by Qing Zhu, she planned on wearing it when she went to the town to see flower lanterns. Ning Meng Yao smiled. It's because you have excellent craftsmanship, Qing Zhu. Young miss is teasing me. All right, let's not talk about this. Qing Zhu, after New Year, I'm planning on sending a person to you. Ning Meng Yao suddenly thought of Yang Lulu. Based on Yang Lu Li's embroidering skill, there should be no problem. Is it Yang Lulu? Ning Meng Yao nodded. That's right. Her embroidery work right now is good. She also helped me many times when I got here. That's why I want to help them. Yang Yi and his wife Madame Xiao worked here. Although Yang Lu Li's income from embroidery was not bad, but it was time-consuming. But if she followed Qing Zhu, then it would be a different matter. Qing Zhu mulled over it and after a long time, she nodded her head. This is not a problem, everything is up to her. Yes, I know. Toward Qing Zhu's section, Ning Meng Yao had been leaving the decisions for her to decide and wanting to add one in right now was not a difficult matter for Qing Zhu. It was only unfair to the others. That was why Ning Meng Yao gave Yang Lulu a chance. As for whether or not Yang Lulu could take this chance, it was all up to her. This was only spoken briefly by Ning Meng Yao before she helped Qin Posey preparing things. After eating, the group of people rolled the dough to make dumplings. When it was almost noon, Ning Meng Yao finally finished making the dumplings. Seeing the hundreds of dumplings on the table, Ning Meng Yao took some of them and let Qing Xian send them to Chiao Tian Chang and ordered him to not let anyone see. Qing Xian took the basket filled with dumplings and vanished. Following his leave, Ning Meng Yao started the fire to make food. When Qing Xian came over, Chiao Tian Chang was about to eat his meal. He raised his brow. Is there anything I can help you with? This is from my young miss. He lifted the basket over. Curiously opening the basket, Xiao Tian Chang saw around a hundred dumplings inside. 
Please tell your young miss that I'm thankful. Qing Xian glanced at Xiao Tian Chang and vanished. Gazing at the direction Qing Xian left, Xiao Tian Chang's lips carried a slight smile. It seemed that Ning Men Yao was not an ordinary orphan girl. The martial arts that youth possessed was not something most people could match. Ning Men Yao had thought of what she was going to make. A fish braised in sauce, sweet and sour ribs, a huge meatball, and hare stew with mushrooms. Eleven dishes altogether. Two hours later, the dishes were all set on the table. Ning Men Yao called them to eat together. Young Miss, Happy New Year. N. You guys too. Happy New Year. Ning Meng Yao smiled and took a hug of grape wine to pour into everybody's cup. Wu, young miss, this is a delicious wine. Qing Shui's eyes were sparkling as she stared at Ning Meng Yao. Her expression was as if she has encountered gold ingot. In her eyes, this grape wine and golden ingot had not much difference. If this were to be sold, then the money earned would not be little. All right. Even if this is to be sold, you should still wait until New Year is over. After New Year, we will go to the mountain to find some land to plant grapes. They should be ripe next year. Ning Meng Yao laughed as she looked at Qin Zhu. It's New Year, and they still thought of work. Lowering her head and looking at the grape wine, Ning Meng Yao suddenly remembered that Xiao Tian Chang helped her pick the grapes the time. She originally planned on giving him some but she forgot about it. Maybe she could give him two jars after this.